Well, uh, the, the biggest driver of change in early clinical development is the need to get uh, faster, better data for go-no-go -go decisions so that we can kill compounds quickly or progress them and you know put f further investment in there. I think there's uh, been a big development in high throughput techniques uh, that are uh, leading a wealth of information that uh, it was not there before and now we need to deal with it and all of these uh, high throughput techniques gives uh, much more data that needs to be available and needs to be used in the earlier stages uh, and that places a challenge for the people that are developing these, uh, these projects. Well, I would address this from, from the perspective of cardiovascular safety, and I'd say that we have been, for 10 years now, or, yeah, for 10 years we've been dealing with uh, specified, designated studies for cardiovascular safety assessment, the so-called therapeutic studies. And what I see as the most dramatic change in my small area of, of early exploratory development is, is to apply these techniques to first dose and then studies and other standard clin form studies, enabling us to do the same thing much more effectively by implementing them into standard studies. On top, the expectations of the public for more effective and safer drugs have increased. And there's an increasing sensitivity to safety issues, even in life-threatening diseases. At the same time, expectations have increased to truly prolong survival. This all affects uh, back to early development and the profile of the drugs and the drug candidates we consider sufficiently active and safe. Significant changes would be the difficulty of uh, getting efficacy from our, proving efficacy of compounds in our phase two studies uh, and overcoming sort of large <laughs> compound attrition from phase two moving on to phase three. The key question then is how we define the target product profile and the criteria needed to decide to go on in phase three or to stop. The practical consequences are that more and more accurate data have to be generated during the proof of confidence phase. This makes early clinical development much more complex. It may take longer and costs more.